Mother tongue and native language refer to a person's first language or is the language a person has learned from birth or within the critical period. Mother tongue, on the other hand, can be a language that is being spoken in a particular community or society. However, the use of mother tongue or native language appears to be fading away as parents and children are now adopting a common language that is being used in their immediate environment. Use of English language and other languages in school are also some of the contributory factors to mother tongue interference. Actually, uh, some people tend to look at maybe the uh, English language as uh, some language that is prestigious. Uh, being the official language uh, designated in our offices, language of our communication in our schools. So they tend to look at that language as a language that is prestigious. Well, it is not that I don't want to speak my native language to my kids. Um, the thing there is that I'm more comfortable using Hausa English language today. You see, some parents they do not uh, they don't use to speak their native language to their words. Uh, maybe some they do perceive that English language is a uh, is a paramount to their own native language or mother tongue. On the side of parents, they have forgotten their role in speaking English language to their children at the expense of their mother tongue. Lack of living up to their responsibility as parents in speaking mother tongue to their children has great effect on mother tongue. A cross section of parents in an interview said they feel proud when speaking their mother tongue to their children, but the present generation consider mother tongue as a local language. This present generation, I would say that is a saturation of language. Yes. You discover even in, in, in what they go to Numan in particular in a home, you will hear the children and their parents exchanging, not speaking in Hausa language. And I do wonder how the children, we, we know what the kind of language the children we, we, we learn perfectly as, as their own mother tongue. For these parents, they only speak English language and Hausa to their children, which makes it difficult now for children to speak their mother tongue. What can do with you? I speak English and Hausa language because it depends on the community where we have raised them. In my own case, I adopted them. And so from the beginning, they are not used to the language. These school people said they feel proud to be speaking their language as it is their official language while at home with their parents. At home, and it's only Fulani, I'm speaking with my parents. What language do you speak with your parents at home? Fulani. It's Fulani, I try. Therefore, it is the responsibility of every parent to be up and doing in ensuring that children understand their mother tongue.